Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play DuckTales. Today, I mean last episode, we went on, we went and explored the Himalayas and found the lost crown of Genghis Khan. Today we're going to the moon? Sorry, I made that joke last episode and I promised myself I wouldn't do it again, but I did it anyway. So, let's go to the moon. Yes, we will go to the moon. to the moon lots, but the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Hop, hop, and away! <laughs> Sorry people, I'm, I'm adjusting my headset. Oh, neato! We get us another one. And we get eighty eight thousand gold eighty eight thousand dollars for that. Coolio. Oh gosh. Okay. Gosh, Mr. McDuck, mm. I've never been to the moon before. <laughs> well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's Oxy Chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That gyro is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. <laughs> well, that's what <laughs> my dear mama <laughs> said. <laughs> and if you <laughs> a feather brain like you to believe her. Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look, here's someone who can give us directions. Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh no! We've got to ah, save him! Fenton got we it. Really? <laughs> we do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Well, all right then. Oh, and here comes the best music in the game. Well, I do suppose that's a matter of opinion, but I love it. The, m the music for the moon. And of course it doesn't last very long. Okay, we should be Yeah. Why, that looks like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. Now hold on a second. Okay, th this pit right below us is a death trap. <laughs> well, jeez. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to figure. I'm just trying to get my bearings. Okay, yeah. That leads back down to the surface. Um. This should lead again to the surface, which it does. 
Okay, going up that way does nothing. So the only way we can go is up this way. And apparently we can't go no further like this. Blast me bagpipes! <laughs> a piece of gizmo duck suit! Oh, if only I had a way to open this door. Oh, don't worry, folks. There will be a way eventually. I'm sorry. I, like the other places, i got to get my bearings here. Fenton, get down from there. And stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones! Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override ah. so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius! Gee, Mr. McDuck! Do you mean it? Oops! Warning! Damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry. I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level 3 certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button, too. I'll get us out of this. All right, then. Gravity system restored. All systems no That was simple let's enough. Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my gizmo duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a gizmo duck suit myself. So basically, let's go back the way we went. Or the way we came, rather. Because the first piece is over here. It's Gizmo Duck's helmet! Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. No, only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon vault. Okay, so let's continue. There's actually, I think, fewer treasures on the moon than any other stage. Okay, see, we've already been to this room. But there is something there I did not know about. So wait, I'm sorry, I'm, I am truly sorry about the constant pausing, but uh, I just get lost. No, I can't believe I just did that. Okay, we got... Okay, we had ice cream and coinage. Not to be confused with major boob, no. I will not make that reference, because I don't want to. Sorry I'm not talking people, it's just kind of late for me. I've been up for a long time.
Wow, it's kind of funny. I take a hit, and then I get it right back. Looks like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. Now, just one more part to find, and I can get off this flying <laughs> monster. So that explains where he's hiding all those coins. No, just a regular coin. I guess I'm just gonna call it what it is—a coin purse. I guess one of those would be good enough for storing coinage. But that does raise the question, where was he hiding the um, fuel regulator parts for the plane? I thought there was something down there. I really am glad they decided to remake this game because this this game was a crucial not necessarily a crucial part of my childhood, but it was a ch it was a part that I did not really want to give up. I loved this game. It was just back in Capcom's heyday when they still made relatively great games. Yet I know it's hard to believe. Yeah, I know it's hard to believe that Capcom actually made great games at one point in time. But they did, so... Alright then. Waka waka. Well, alright now. Alright then. I'm sorry, people. I truly am, but... If I don't know where to go, I can't really help you with the game, can I? Die, you game. space squids. Okay, we might come out of here with maybe a million dollars. Little over, maybe. Okay, here comes some more odd bouncing. Oh God, that was tough. I was was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. <laughs> I hope it's not too late. Oh, great. Now I get to work my way back across the friggin' ship. At 13 minutes. Basically, there is a lot of place I can just drop. And it will take me where I need to be. Here is not really one of the... Dear God, I about missed an awesome treasure. Now, I think... It, I don't know if it was in just DuckTales 2, but, um... In one of the two original games, there were hidden treasures, like... There was the main treasures... And then there was treasures that were actually hidden. I'm not, I don't remember exactly which game it was. I, I want to say it was two. I don't remember them being in the first one. We're in luck. I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault! Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh... I think I left my favorite two dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, <laughs> I just send Gyro back onto the ship. So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. 
Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmoduck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are a Nope, sorry. Okay. But as good as yours. Oh, my microphone was on at that last bit. Sorry about that. It. Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blatherskite, I'm useless. Really? I mean, I'm blathering blatherskite. Dream. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. I would be stuffing that thing in my pocket. Oh wow, really? For the most part, man, you're pretty useful, actually. You taking all my kills, Buster? Yeah, I hadn't been this way yet, so there's bound to be treasures here. So let's see what we got. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't like him doing that. This is the place. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, well, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, Gizmodon. <laughs> no? Ah, Flint Heart Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me <laughs> deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! I really don't remember there being that many freaking Beagle Boys. I don't know if it, my memory's just serving me incorrectly, but... I seriously don't remember that many. I remember like three. There was Burger, Big Time, and Bouncer. I don't know if they just somehow cloned themselves, but... Hmm, excuse me. That's what I thought that was for. <laughs> Back in Dune? I didn't know Dune was a word. That's almost as bad as I am the From uh... It's a shame that only lasts for so long. I guess Mrs. Beakley's not gonna be up here, is she? Ha, ha. 
Oh my god, is that the last, uh, is that a heart in there? Okay, apparently it's seven hearts at the max. I guess I missed that one in my P when I played through a played through this game on my computer. I got full health. I don't know what you're talking about. Must that be Mary? I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Are you serious? Hey, Scott, I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. Yeah, this 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 fight's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie, this this fight is just a little bit weird. Okay, come on now. You need to die, buddy boy. That was a close one. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat. Nothing's gonna keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's gonna make me. <laughs> so after we get back and check our totals, I'm gonna end the episode. Unless something's about to go down. Okay, good, no. Okay, we almost had... Well, we got 11 million dollars. We did it, boys! All... Okay, um, this cinematic's gonna have to wait till the next episode. <laughs> Thank you for watching, this has been Cardam J 3 Hope you have enjoyed this video. This has been this is Cardam J 3 on the Game to Death Plays channel, by the way. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.